thank you for joining this week's um, Spotlight. Um, we're looking at initiatives that are funded through the iNote project. And today, Dr. Neve Plunkett, the Head of Teaching and Learning at IT Sligo, um, is has prepared a presentation on CELT's multi-campus English language program. So um, following the presentation, Neve will be able to take any questions you have on the program. Good afternoon, everybody. This is a review of the iNote funded program led by IT Sligo entitled Supporting International Students Across the Connacht Ulster Alliance through the implementation of an online English language support program. Just to introduce the, the main members of the team, my name is Niamh Plunkett and I'm the Head of Teaching and Learning at IT Sligo and the Project Lead. Patricia Henry is the Centre for the Enhancement of Learning and Teaching Support Officer and John Joe Callaghan is the director of the Native Speaker English Language School who provided this online program across the CUA and St. Angeles. We also maintained very close collaboration with the CUA international managers, registrars, student unions and academic writing centres. Across the CUA, each institute's strategic plan aims to grow the number of international students for both on-campus and online programmes. Therefore, we must support these students to not only succeed in their academic programme, but to develop and enhance their English language skills to graduation and beyond into the workforce, thereby maintaining retention and success. While each institute offers academic writing support centres, these do not fully serve the needs of students for whom English is not a first language and who are struggling with or want to improve their English language skills. The course tutor used a suite of diverse software programs to deliver a user friendly but content rich student experience. This online program aimed to support students by offering a bespoke online English language support program to all students for whom English is not their first language. By providing a program that fits into the busy student schedule, offering the support needed no matter the student's English language level, they could be a complete novice or quite competent, the program caters for all language levels and abilities. Delivering content and assessment directly to the student in bite-sized chunks that fits into their daily routine. We also wanted to allow students to improve their English on the go using their iPad, Android, phone or laptop to access content at any time. The programme is promoted to all students, including online, on campus, full time, part time and Erasmus students. Initially, we ran a pilot programme with a total of 67 students to tease out what worked well, any improvements needed in both marketing and communication and in maintaining student engagement. This initial programme gave us great insight into the types of students who registered for the programme, the content they most enjoyed, the most popular modes of delivery and accessibility and assessment strategies that worked well. We focused on feedback from this cohort to ensure that we offered a really well thought through programme that specifically supported students and enabled them to gain confidence with English language skills. In total, 155 students registered for the programme between September 2021 and today, March 2022. Students can easily enrol onto the programme from any device in as little as three clicks. The programme provides live, live tutor support twice per week, but also delivers written, video and audio content with assessments that assist the students 24-7. From our conversation with students who registered, we identified that the main reason students enrolled onto the programme are because of a yearning for answers that they couldn't get from those around them, such as grammar and phrasing. Time pressure with many students saying, I don't have time to do all this English. Some students were struggling with academic assignments, reports and exams, but all students alluded to a lack of confidence in their language performance. I'm now going to take a look at the student demographics who are currently registered onto the programme. As you can see, the majority of students are enrolled at IT Sligo, followed by LYIT and to a lesser extent, GMIT and St. Angela's. 
Gender is fairly evenly distributed with approximately 60% female and 40% male. The majority of students are full-time at 55.4% and part-time at 44.6%. Again, it's fairly evenly dispersed between undergraduate and postgraduate with students at nearly 50-50. You can see that students are enrolled at all programme levels from level five right through to level 10, with the greater number of students enrolled on level eight undergraduate programmes and level nine postgraduate programmes. 52% of our students are online and 24% are blended, which identifies the need for an online support programme. However, 24% of students are also on campus. We can see that the majority of students are first year undergraduate and second year undergraduate, with the next most popular being first year postgraduate. I'm now going to play some YouTube clips created by John Joe Callaghan of Native Speaker to provide an overview of the programme and what students see on the platform, as well as examples of the type of lessons and assessments that students complete and how we can keep track of engagement and progression. Our online platform allows the students to follow the course at their own pace and in their own time. Here we can see how many students are attending the course through the platform. When the student logs on to the platform, they can see all of the content of the course on one page. Live lessons, slides, notes, and ancillary videos, all neatly sequenced chronologically like a table of contents. If students can make it to a live lesson on Tuesday or Thursday at 3 p.m., they can see the whole lesson on the platform and can dip into the course at any stage of the course. Students send in speaking samples by WhatsApp and receive targeted correction and feedback. They value the accessibility and simplicity of the process and the error correction that helps improve their performance. This is the kernel of what this student profile want to cleanse their speaking and writing skills of mistakes. The students recordings are audited by the instructor and partial transcriptions highlight grammar, vocabulary and pronunciation issues that are clearly colour coded. These are then recorded as videos and the students can read and listen to their instructor's feedback and advice. Students also follow up with queries and feedback etc. For example, to share frustrations, doubts, and ask questions. The accessibility, the dip in, dip out nature of this medium is ideal for students who need English language and communications help when they need it and do not always have the bandwidth or time to commit to a traditional language course. Sometimes students have an issue with the test and need guidance. In these situations, all the data regarding any test that they have done is available for analysis and feedback. In this example, a student had had difficulty passing a test and wanted to discuss it. As we can see in the circled parts, it is possible to see how long a student spent on a test, when they did it, and the score they received. It is also possible to compare this to the amount of time they spent studying the course content. In the example here, we can see that the issue was that the student in question was spending insufficient time on the course content prior to attempting the test. So the student was advised how to adapt their approach.
platform allows the students to dip in and out of the course as their schedule allows and easy to access tests. Here we can see how students have done in a specific test. Great analysis mechanism for the course provider, great learning feedback feature for student, all available to students wherever they are located. Here we can see sample test results on the topic of communicating cause and effect in essays and presentations. D&D &D means it was a drag and drop test. This particular test was designed to simply encourage student revision rather than to rigorously challenge them. While other tests provide a greater challenge, this kind of test is designed to build confidence. Engagement. The pie chart opposite shows the various ways in which students engage with the native speaker experience. Live engagement is 13%. This is where the students engage with the live lessons from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Platform engagement is 20%. This is where students engage with the content. This is on the platform because they may be unable to attend the live lessons. Dual engagement is 42%. This is where the students engage with both the live lessons and the platform material. Informal feedback suggests that students appreciate the flexibility of being able to balance their personal life with their academic engagement. Independent engagement is 21%. This is where students engage with the content on their own terms, prefer to download the material and study it at their own pace, print off slides, PDFs, etc. Yet to engage is 3%. These students have yet to engage with the content due to various other commitments, such as busy family life, coursework, career commitments, etc. As they have 12 months access to the material, they may feel less pressure to putting other priorities first. It is very important to keep students engaged once they register onto the programme. We do this in a number of ways. We give students a quick WhatsApp phone call if they registered and didn't engage, or if we found that their engagement isn't very consistent. This is just to check they are okay, or if they're having any issues or want to talk. Keeping open communication with relevant stakeholders is also really important, and we regularly make contact with the student union in, in each institute, the international managers, teaching and learning centres, academic writing centres and institute registrars to promote the programme. We ask that they actively promote the programme to students and to focus on the fact that the programme is free of charge to all students, so easy to register, less than three clicks or use the QRS code, Content is so accessible and in a variety of formats. The programme caters to any language level and particular skills. Students can opt in and out as often as they wish. It's also a safe, encouraging and supportive learning environment where students can work at their own pace. We also established a leaderboard to develop a healthy competition among students and institutes whereby awards are given to the top four students from each institute who engage the most with content, live webinars, online platform, assessments and overall engagement. We also attained a number of testimonials from students across the CUA and here are a few of those testimonials. One here from Gaber in LYIT, who as you can see from the extent of his testimonial was very, very happy with the support that he attained. Also Darius, a fourth year student in GMIT, felt he made a lot of progress in one year on the programme. And this student at IT Sligo, all of the students found the programme excellent with great praise and feedback for both the programme tutor and the teaching and learning officer support. So this initiative is really important to enhance the academic offering of the CUA and St. Angela's by offering a high quality online English language support programme for students that will assist them in their studies. 
This will convey to our international partner institutions that their students' academic progress is being supported with substantial and effective online English language lectures that supplement their experience. The feedback from students demonstrates the effectiveness of the programme. It gives them the confidence to go forward with their academic programme by, by virtue of improved use of English. They are supported through an innovative delivery system directly to them and have enhanced learning through state-of-the-art software and course design, which brings English language content to them. It is this learning on the go, which ensures they can fit in English around their academic schedule and home life. Thank you very much for listening. Okay. Thanks very much for that, Neve. Um, so if anyone has any questions or um, for Neve, um, you can put them in the chat or if you want to come on, my, on the mic, that's great as well. Um, so where can people um, access the form to register, Neve? Um, well, and the form and all the information has been sent to all of the teaching and learning centres um, and also to the academic writing centres, to the registrars and the international officers. So we, we kind of collaborate with them on an ongoing basis um, to kind of send the form out and the information out to students. But if students want to, they can just contact their academic writing centre and they should be able to access it from there. As I was saying, Ellen, it's just three little clicks or use the QRS code and they can register immediately at any time. OK, great. And um, why do you think that students um, would be kind of inclined to register on this programme rather than to go to their academic writing centre? Uh, well, that's kind of where it, where it stemmed from initially, Ellen, was because, um, you know, students for whom English isn't their first language were, were being sent to or going themselves to the academic writing centre. But the academic writing centres, their remit really is to focus on academic writing skills. So helping students develop their skills in academic writing and their structure, be that for either description or critical analysis or synthesis, whereas actually the English language skills is, is a separate component altogether. And what we find is we have a lot of students who, who might be complete novices and need a lot of help with English language, or they might be quite competent and just want to have some extra support maybe with doing presentations or speaking um, or even listening. So the programme we offer can kind of relate to students at any level so they can come in as complete novices or be quite competent. So that's kind of the beauty of this programme. It's not a prescribed programme. You can dip in and out as you need and it depends on what level you're at. You can assess the information that you need. Great. There's a big um, spectrum there. There's a huge, huge, huge spectrum there and then because it's ran as well by an actual accredited English language school they're able to cater specifically to those language needs of students. Yeah great and I suppose with Covid as well there probably was less opportunity for people to kind of practice and converse you know with their ordinary peers and things so it could be Absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's kind of what we found as well when we we're doing some research into this in the beginning. Um, and you might have seen there in my, in my clip where I said that, um, uh, you know, students aren't getting the, the support from those around them, because quite often you find that international students are actually living together. So mm -hmm. they're not able to pick up on the nuances with grammar or punctuation. So having an English language class like this online that's available to them 24 seven on any device makes it really, really easy. And you'll have seen there as well in the clips where students can upload just even a short little soundbite of a presentation so that John Joe can look at it and then give them immediate feedback on, you know, where they can improve on pronunciation or grammar or speaking or even confidence skills as well. Yeah, brilliant. And so I suppose as we move towards the ATU now, is there any plans to kind of roll it out again across the newly formed university? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I suppose like any project, um, Ellen, we have to make sure that what we're doing is very productive and, you know, is very effective. I think the numbers show for themselves having 155 students registered um, across the ATU and now St. Angela's. So coming as, as an ATU, you know, we'll have to agree together that this is something that we feel is important to our students. And as I said in the clip there, in particular to our international partners as well, to let them know that by sending students to us, you know, that we're going to support them with their language. So we'll have to look at that. We'll also have to look at the funding involved and perhaps as well, maybe go out to tender as well to make sure um, that we get the right language school to run this programme for us. 
Brilliant. Well, it's great to have it and hopefully we'll be able to sustain the great, the great support for our international students. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for thanks very much for your presentation and for um, taking the time to tell us about the project. Thank you, Anna. Thanks a million. Thanks very much.